This video demonstrates how you can connect data, regressions, and functions from two points all in one place with ClassPad.net. We're going to start with data, so we're going to click somewhere on the screen, bring up our options, and choose the data sticky. You'll notice here's our data sticky. Now we can simply enter values. Let's say we have two points that are lying on a line, and we're being asked to find the equation or the function of that line. So we're going to enter our two points in the data. So negative 3, 7, and our second point is positive 2, negative 1 half, which we're going to enter as 0.5. So I've entered my data, and now I want to see those points plotted. So I'm going to select my columns, and notice when I do the statistics options come up, I'm looking for a plot of these points, the graph, and so I'm going to choose scatter plot. When I do that, you'll see that my two points have shown up on a graph, and if I click on them, I can see the coordinates of those two points on the graph and move them there. So I know I have these two points, and now I want to find a line that contains these two points. The quickest way is to use my data table again. So I'm going to go back to my data and select my two columns again. And this time, I'm going to hit the back button, and I'm going to choose regression. And I know I'm looking for a line, so I'm going to choose linear regression. When I do this, I get a line through those two points which makes sense, two points make a line. And you'll notice that my regression over here is described. It tells me what form this line is in, so it's in slope-intercept form, where A is my slope value and B is my intercept. And notice that the R and R squared values are one and a negative one. They're perfect relationships, and that makes sense because two points make a line. Now I want to know what's the equation of this line. So is this a and b values, my slope and my intercept, really the function, the equation for this line. So now we can use the ability of this graph right here. So this is when I click on the graph sticky, notice I have options down here at the bottom. I'm going to choose f of x. I'm going to graph the function that the linear equation is saying should be match. So I'm going to do y equals and a, according to my regression, is negative 1.5. Then x, whoops, negative 1.5x plus a v value of, or a y-intercept of 2.5. When I hit enter, you'll see that my red regression line is now green, and that's because the function is an exact match. If we want to see them separately, this is a beautiful thing about ClassPad, you can see down here the tabs. I can actually pull out my function by grabbing that tab and separating them out. And now I see my original regression line here and my function that I made from that regression, and I can see that they appear to match. Another way to check this is to check the key points. So what is the y-intercept and the x-intercept? And notice these are in standard. If I want them to be in decimal, I can go to my settings of my function and change them to decimal. And now let's compare those values to what I have on my original regression. And you'll notice same thing. Let's change it to decimal. That my regression intercept and my x-intercept match the function as well. So these are indeed exact matches. 